Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to witness the foundation of our glorious union. The path we face will not be easy. We will have to face many challenges ahead. But I believe in every man, woman, and child on this ship. For the glory of the union and for the prosperity of its captain. Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic and welcome back to Imperium Galactic Survival. And after a couple of hours of partying, everybody is back in their stations. As you can see, we have a full crew complement now. In fact, we have over crew complement. We have a couple of people in reserve. And as you can see, I have a secondary officer and a lieutenant even here. Uh, I don't know their names yet, but I'll uh, figure them out later down the line. I, they, t they told me I'm just a little bit forgetful. Anyway, we're onwards to the next system. We're going to be going to Beta 5 or Beta 6, one of the closer ones. Well, this one looks like it's the closest one. And we do have to go to the planet, so it means... It is a snow planet. It has titanium on the planet, that is, of course, which is fine. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It is a cold planet, but let us go there. Let us see what exactly is going on in the Beta 5 sector. And we're immediately getting attacked as soon as I enter. That's amazing. Of course, my shields were down. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Generators are reloading. It's fine. Come on, where's the shield? Oh, that's because the shields are turning on as well. Alright, so these won't really get past anything. Won't really get past my shields or my armor, but... Alright, so I need to be very... Oh, hello, that's a lot of Xerax. Well, we still need to do this, so uh, uh, let's go. Uh, they're kind of far away. I'm going to assume we're actually going to go more towards one of the poles this time around. I'm going to assume that most of these are capital vessels. They're 20 kilometers away, so... No, no, they're not capital vessels. No, they're just... Hello, what was that? That was weird. Anyway, planet time. Alright, we just entered the atmosphere. So, uh, let's see what's here. We're not in Xerox territory. We have a crashed... Oh, that we are actually in Xerox territory, sort of. We have a crashed capital vessel somewhere nearby. Uh, if I can uh, see where exactly over there, so we are gonna check it out. We might get a nice big thruster out of it. It is very close to the artillery base, though, so hopefully we will not, uh, you know, we will not get attacked. It looks like it did launch drones, though. Sadly, oh, that is a big ship. I think this was the one that had thrusters on it. We don't actually care about the medium ones. Uh, we have enough of those and we actually don't can't carry anymore. So the only thing I really care about is if it has anything else of use. Let's see. Nothing should be really coming our way. We're kind of far away. I just... Oh, I'm stuck on a tree in the back. All right. That's what was happening. Huh. This might be interesting. Where am I going to land? Ah, that's where I'm going to land. Actually, no, I can't land over there because that's too far away. We need to be relatively close so we can actually use the Wi-Fi. Right, that's good. Uh, a little bit to the side and we are opening fire on something. It looks like there's Xerox soldiers nearby. Alright, that should be fine. I can actually turn off thrusters now. Right, that's good. Crew, your captain is leaving you for a little bit. I mm -hmm. should be able to get back here, actually. I don't want to take out the hover muscle yet. We don't need to. So, as I was mentioning, today is Friday. Uh, so, when I have the time today, or tomorrow at most, I will be doing a slight retrofit of the ship. Um, I, ha I had a design in mind, but I'm not entirely sure if it will work, so... Well, we have medium thrusters, alright, let's actually go find the core if it has a core. Oh, it does not have a core, alright. Well, in that case, we're just gonna pick one. It has 2,000 fuel, which is exactly what I want. In fact, I want to find ships with more than 2,000 fuel. Uh, because, yeah, that's still like 200. I'm fine with that. Alright, let's see, uh, constructor zero, cargo boxes, lots, it says seven, but there's actually only a little bit, there's no ammo boxes apparently. Uh, we don't care about equipment, doors, uh, flares, no, generators, are they, are they small or are they, okay, we don't know, uh, they're probably not there. 50 lights, wow, that's a lot of lights. 
Lots of thrusters, but most of them small or medium. We don't care about those anymore. There's no turrets, apparently. Uh, there is landing gear, but I can just make that myself. And there's just, yeah, thrusters, so... There's apparently warp capabilities. They're not showing up. So I'm assuming they're either underground, they're bugging out, and they're not showing up, or they're just not there. They were supposed to be there, but they're not there. So what we're gonna do is, can I actually access one of the containers? Because I want to see if the ammo boxes can be accessed. I don't really care about the containers. No, it looks like I can only access the fridge. Uh, which is fine. Uh, this will be sorted out one day. Uh, on Christmas. Next Christmas. No, not this year's. Next, uh, next year's. Uh, it looks like we don't really have anything else of use here. I will check out... Yeah, it looks like it is just turrets. Uh, sorry, just thrusters mostly. It's not normally if this was in the very beginning and I found it, I'd be very happy. But currently, we don't really need anything from it. And we don't really need hardened steel anyway. I was thinking of... Well, not yet, but sooner or later, we will have to upgrade the ship to combat steel blocks. And I'm basically going to be preparing it for that as well because they do weigh a lot more. So my idea was, we are going to upgrade the thrusters, all of them actually, uh, sideways, backwards ones, this one's going to be upgraded to an XL one, that's one already is an XL one. We are maxing out its speed, and acceleration is really good, at least forward, because of the two engines. Uh, but, uh, when we go to combat steel blocks, I assume we're going to have a couple more issues. Uh, so, actually, that being said, can I actually turn off one of the thrusters? I've never actually considered doing that to save power. Uh, so we need a... Why are these not even here? What's happening? Why does it say zero? Uh, oh, I think it's because I might have replaced some of them. That's fine, though. Since what? Oh, this got damaged in the fight. Oh. I thought I had repaired everything. All right, so we care about the large thrusters, but they are not here. Of course, they should be actually down here. So I'm gonna actually, you know what, let's turn off uh, this one. This is a smaller one. Oh, hello. That's, that's weird. Should have pressed that at all. Uh, I want to see if we'll still max- yeah, we're still maxing out on speed, so we actually don't need both the thrusters at the moment. That's actually gonna save us on a lot of fuel. I should have known. Alright, let's see, where are we going next? And, oh, this is a very large planet. Oh, there- it looks like there is a Polar settlement here. Alright, well, well, this looks alone. Let's go there. Okay, uh, appar apparently I had, uh, turned off the wrong thruster. I turned off one of the upwards ones instead of, uh, yeah. Uh, which, what direction was that one? That was D. This is B, so it should be this one, right? Enclosed drive. I think that was the XL one. Still at max speed, but our acceleration is very small, so I actually don't want to turn off this one. So we're looking for B ones. Uh, I'll find it. I'll find it. Don't fear. There it is. Large enclosed thruster B. That's a little bit better. This one has way more acceleration. Alright. We're still gonna save on some fuel, but... That's fine. I guess this was just a placeholder. I didn't need it. Oh well. Alright, so it looks like that area is being defended by a rocket... Drone. Okay, and it's an opportunity, apparently. Uh, so, by turning off that thruster, uh, I, ca I can actually turn a lot quicker that way, but this way, it's, uh, yeah, it's just a little bit, just, just a little bit <laughs> slow. Come on, destroy that. Thank you. We are going to check this opportunity out. We're already here. I made the long trip here, so about as all. Well. We're definitely not going for the Hongo. We don't need to. And... And, okay, let's turn off all the thrusters again. Any fuel I can save, the Union needs it. Because uh, we're kind of low on it. Uh, are we going to really go on foot? I have so many vehicles and I'm choosing to go on foot. Where's the aer aerodrome? Oh, this is just... Oh, are you kidding me? I'm never going to one of these again. They don't really have much. Wish I could get one of these. I'm just gonna get the fuel in these. This is not gonna have anything on it. They almost, if I recall correctly, it doesn't. We've seen one of these before. Yeah, just solar panels and uh, yeah. 
Actually, can I just take it over? Yes, I can. All right, it's giving me access to the CPU, so it means I could just private it. Thank you for that advice again, I would like to mention. Yeah, we're gonna just, am I still connected? I am, because we are gonna be salvaging. We're not gonna be really taking these. Looks like we have that. Uh, this is not accessible. We have a bed and nothing else. Yeah, that's it. That that is it. That that is the whole thing. You know, we're gonna salvage that for the parts. I'm actually I should actually be salvaging these for. Oh, they don't actually give you back the nutrient solution. One of them did, but that is it. I was hoping all of them would. Looks like not all of them. Uh, anything else actually of interest? Nope. Ah, I don't have the core on it anymore. I should have done that before I removed the core. Anyway, onwards to the next point of interest. Alrighty, it looks like we found an abandoned mine. And a bunch of other energy signatures that are not guarded by Xerox, so that's actually really good for us. Look at that. Hopefully they're... Uh, well, one of them is a settlement. That's not probably not going to have anything good, but the abandoned mine might. So, let's take care of these fellows quickly. And we're going to land somewhere. Oh, hello. That is a ship incoming. I might actually not want to face that. Actually, what I want to do is... all oh, this is still active. I want to change this to the ammunition container. And we definitely want to start building ammunition. Because we are running low. Specifically on... Oh, actually everything, apparently. Uh, we were running low on autocannon rounds. So I'm going to want, eh, 300 might be a little bit overkill, but uh, let's say 200. And we're going to want 100 of these, which is like 600 rockets. Uh, should be fine. Or at least as many as it can build. Now, I want to see if we can actually take that on. It looks small. Well, it's definitely smaller than us. Can we punch? Th oh my god. Just please don't shoot at the thruster. I actually want to take it. So it is a Radus patrol vessel, and it looks like it will have a blind spot up top. No, it still has a turret up top, so... Missiles can't fire here, but apparently their lasers can. So the thing is, if I actually put a laser turret up here, we won't be able to fire, but I can. We're focusing on the generator. Uh, because that is just the best call. If we can just punch through it, uh, that'd be lovely, but uh, I don't think we can. What if I... Nope, no, that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. That's a worse idea. Alright, well, we need to start backing off. I think I did some damage to it, but... Uh, obviously not. Not close enough. Not close to what we need. But it looks like that thing might not be hunting us down. I'm gonna just stay a while and watch it and see if it actually turns around. I think it just is on a set course. And that is it. Uh, nope. It looks like it turned around. Now, I've actually set all my turrets to fire on their turrets, so if we can take on off their turrets, of course, taking it on afterwards will be a breeze. Now, these things have uh, 5,000 HP each, 5, 6,000, uh, so it's going to take a while. And our shields actually haven't recovered, which is something that I forgot. So we need to be a little bit more careful. But we managed to take down one of them. It ha It looks like it has... Uh, Two, two ish turrets. Uh, from this range, we won't be able to get them, so I might as well just back off and wait for the shields to recharge. There's just no point. Right, you know what? We are going to take that down. I want to see it. Actually, it might crash the game. Uh, so there is something. Uh, I hope it doesn't crash the game. It might. It probably will crash the game, but I hope it doesn't when it falls down. By the way, this is what I was talking about when I said when I turn off the thrusters, this happens. Just, just watch. <laughs> the teleporting up and down. And I don't think that's actually that's actually not saving me any fuel because it keeps teleporting me up and down. Is it? Oh, great. Shields are back to full, so I believe we're ready to engage. And now we started off on this side, so let's actually finish this side. If we can actually take out the last turret, I believe it's the front one. Yeah, if we can take it out, and if we can take out the top one, and then there's only two turrets left. Or I could just start digging from the side. It's one of the two. I guess I could just start digging from the side. Okay, that one's gone. Actually, you know what? Let's take off the turret on the top. And this thing is going to be essentially defenseless. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's, I can't see anything anyway that way. The windows are mostly for aesthetic reasons. Hello, no, no, we're too close. We're too close. I'm surprised. 
hasn't crashed the game yet, these flying things here. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah, that laser turret, I don't think it's actually shooting at us. This is a nice ship design, though. Right, at this point, we are just going to go for cannon turrets, and we're going to go for generators, because we don't care about anything else anymore. We only care about the generator. We know where it is, obviously, because the turrets did shoot at it. I kind of don't want to be attacked by those, though. So this is going to be a long fight. Alright, and we just got the generator, which is nice. The problem is, it's falling down in the ocean, which is uh, horrible. Uh, the thing is, I think this is shallow water. No, it's not. Oh, it is, it is, isn't it? That's right, fine. Okay, let's fall down as much as we can. Uh, we don't care that we're underwater. Okay, we might have actually cared a little bit, because we're very slow and we need to be quick. The reason we need to be quick is I believe it's going to despawn. So I want to place a core as quickly as possible on it. Uh, is my light on? Okay, night vision is probably going to be the best call here, isn't it? Oh no, okay, it doesn't have a core. We might have destroyed it. Uh, so it only took a while. We did actually... And we'll self-destruct. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, I need to take these as quickly as possible. Come on, come on, don't, 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 don't do this to me, please. The only reason I destroyed it is because I can't even fit them. Are you kidding me? Can I go into the harvest controller? Okay, we have some room here. It's not a lot, but it's something. Wait, did I link to the harvest controller? Yes, I did. Come on, just... Oh, we, how did we destroy that one? We didn't destroy that one. That is not fair. We destroyed the one on the other side, yes, because it was getting in the way of all my shots. Come on, let me get these. Now, the reason I want these is because I can actually deconstruct them for a decent amount of materials, surprisingly. Now, this is, yeah. In general, water in this game is just horrible. Because you can't swim through it. Actually, I think it's not going to self-destruct, is it? It's destroyed and will self-destruct. Uh, it hasn't yet, but plus, technically... Combat steel blocks. Yeah, I, I knew that. I knew that. I knew it was going to be combat steel blocks. Alright, so it looks like we get two thrusters out of that. And maybe if I can actually enter this thing. Oh, it's empty inside. Of course it is. Well, why would it be full with anything? Can I please? It's, it's just the fact that we can't actually swim. Yeah, jetpack's currently off and I can't actually swim up. And that is why water in this game is just so annoying, almost. Alright, time for method number B, which is using blocks to climb up, which is my standard method. Alright, we're just going to do it this way. It sh won't actually do... I actually managed to do it without the block, okay. Okay, it looks like there really isn't anything inside. Let me actually turn on... Nope, night vision doesn't work, apparently. Can I please? It's annoying. Okay, so it looks like if I do place a core uh, quickly enough, it's not going to self-destruct. Now, all right, let's see what it has. It has just medium thrusters on it. It has an extra ion cannon, which I might actually want to take. The cockpit, thrusters, no generators. I think we destroyed those with the core. No fuel tanks, no nothing. Yeah, just just a couple of thrusters here and there. Right, well, in that case, let's actually take the uh, cannon. Actually, yeah, I want to take that because I want to go up there. Oh, I want it to go up there for a reason. Because I don't want to slog through this again. All right, cannon has been received, and that appears to be a laser turret. Uh, I did manage to climb my way up here. And from here, we should be able to make our way up to our ship. Now, the cockpit was basically just, you know, a cockpit, nothing else really. Uh, we are going to want to take back our thingy. I wonder if it's actually going to explode after I take back my thingy, or is it not? Is it going to be considered neutral now? Well, it doesn't really matter. If it wants to explode, it can explode. It's just combat steel, and oh no, it's still too deep, isn't it? I thought it was shallow water. Great. Great. Yeah, it's, look at how deep it is. Alright. I'm gonna have to think of an 
up of a miracle to actually get back up there. But until then, we're going to leave things off here. I've been the Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Imperium Galactic Survival, and I do hope to see you all in the next one. <laughs>